Hello everyone, my name is Enzo Macarone and this is Pop Culture. So what a surprise, I'm going to listen to Fade to Black and it says that this, is, this was the first power ballad from Metallica. It's been a whole three weeks since I reacted to a song from Metallica, so I'm ready to jump right into it and listen to a new song from them. First I'm going to listen to the song and then I'm going to pay more attention to the lyrics to see if I can understand the main message. Before I start with the video I want to tell you that I'm very thankful for the 200 subscribers. Keep subscribing, keep liking the videos and hit the notification bell. Thank you very much. Let's go! I love those introductions. Oh. So calm. <laughs> nice effect on the guitar. How is it called? I'm loving this already. So good. Change your rhythm. Faster. I can already tell what they said in Wikipedia that they were thinking about death while they were writing this song and you can tell
You know, they say that this is the 24th best guitar solo of all time. So I'm so ready to hear it. That looks so fun. I wish I was there. I miss concerts so much. Jump so bad. Genius! They are genius! What a power battle! Man. I loved it! It's amazing! They are all sweating! They are all sweating by the power of metal! A rock! What a great band. So much power, so much talent. You have to be a real genius to write these songs. And they both play the guitar so well and they complement each other. The whole band is so tight. They sound so well together, almost like in the record. Incredible. What a fantastic performance. And I love the song. It is a ballad, but it is more 
a fast paced it is fast paced for a ballet I loved it I, I can't believe I never heard this song before it's incredible I was missing one of the best guitar solos ever and I I think this song might as well be about death, the end of life, facing the end of your life. They talked about uh, having suicidal uh, reflections, reflecting about suicide, about death, about the end, you know, uh, at least that's what it says here in Wikipedia. Uh, and it had, apparently, for what this says, it had also something to do with uh, <laughs> something that happened to them that they lost because their gear had just been stolen and they had been thrown out of their manager's house for breaking stuff and drinking his liquor <laughs> having it dry so <laughs> uh, you know uh, they had a lot of a lot of trouble because it says that a lot of kids because people say that kids were killing themselves because of the song but well you I mean if you are feeling so depressed that you want to end your life and you can say, oh, this song was the thing that made me do it. But you were at that point, you know, before the song. And it says also that a lot of people listened to the song. And when you listen to a song about people suffering, you can relate and you say, you know, I'm not the only one who is suffering. A lot of people have trouble. Everyone has trouble. But now that we can see all the biopics about musicians and you say, you know, he's a musician or he's famous. He has a lot of money. He must be happy. I mean, no one is entirely happy. Life is difficult for everyone for different reasons. Maybe you say, oh, why, what are you complaining about? You are rich. You live in L.A. and you don't need anything. But man, you can have all the money in the world and your life can still be a hell, living hell. I live in a, in a country that has a lot of poverty, a lot of inflation, corruption. I live in Argentina, but I, I can complain about my country. But, you know, there are other places that are even worse, you know. So life is difficult for everyone, for different reasons. And, you know, when you listen to other people feeling the same as you, you can relate and you can say, well, if they can carry out, if they can move on, and, and if they can fight those feelings, then I can do it. So, I hope uh, this song keeps moving people to fight, to keep fighting, keep going, and don't feel so depressed or Feel it, but thinking about tomorrow, to getting better. So thank you very much for watching the video. Tell me if <laughs> the interpretation that I did has something to do with the song, or if I, <laughs> I was thinking uh, about nothing, that I, or if I was thinking about something that has nothing to do with the meaning of the song. Tell me, uh, what do you think? Uh, this song is about and uh, what are your feelings about it uh, what means Metallica to you what means this song to you so thank you very much for the comments you always give me nice suggestions you always leave a like you subscribe so thank you very much for the 200 subscribers the likes and all the beautiful comments that you leave thank you very much see you in the next video goodbye